So recently, Kylie Jenner's uh, wax figure was unveiled at Madame Tussauds in Hollywood and it was a striking image of the star. Now she said she even deceived her family and made them FaceTime the wax image and they couldn't tell the difference. And in the light of that, we thought we should uh, just share some wax figures that didn't get the stars as they should. First of all, we have Justin Timberlake. And you know, Justin Timberlake uh, looks like a friendly guy, very nice looking, but in this wax figure he looks like a vampire not the kind that you see no, not the kind that you see in uh, the, the twilight films or that, i didn't you know. expect a vampire and the, not, the, no, not the types you see in the twilight films that, you know the, the way edward is uh will be looking after uh, yeah the, what's bella. The, uh, bella look all, all loving he looks like one of those psychopaths <laughs> vampire like. Yeah. Very crazy. And also there's Miley Cyrus who also looks like a vampire or something else. And uh, there's Naomi Campbell, which uh, they got that one pretty wrong. That one looks like a crack crackhead. <laughs> nice, nice. That wax figure looks like a crackhead out in the streets like, but, where my money at? <laughs> <laughs> or like a pimp. Like, where my money at? It's crazy, I mean, no. because don't they, uh, they get a lot, of, I've, I've been to Madame Tussauds before and they, uh, I've seen a couple people that they got properly, but how do they actually miss the point with these people? Miley Cyrus for me. Beyonce's mm, that, 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 I saw it, I saw it, I saw the pictures. The Beyonce one looked like a Britney Spears and... Mm, mashup. Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus for mashup. I don't even know what that looked yeah, like. Yeah, but Miley, I thought Miley Cyrus looked like Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> like, so someone said that the only reason why they got in Kendall's, sorry, Kylie's wax wig up very yeah. well was because they're both made of plastic. Oh, that is not a nice thing to say. People at are all. so shady out that here. That is not in a the nice street. thing to say. Like I, I had to put my head down. And like, even though I, Kylie actually gave the dress she wore to 2016 Met Gala yeah. to, for for the wax figure to be dressed. I think people are just mad that Kylie's wax wig is slayed and like their fave zone looks a little bit of a mess. So. Yeah, no, but I'm not happy with the just Timberlake one. That's yeah, such a friendly guy. You should have got, at least from me. Give JT a smile. <laughs> give JT a smile. If, if you don't give him, give him a smile. I can't believe you said he looks like a vampire. I'm telling you. Then last but not least, of course, we can't. Not forget the king of pop, Michael Jackson. That wax figure was not the best ever the best. made. It wasn't the best at all. I think so, they need to go back to the drawing board with exactly, wax figures. Yeah, but the thing about they get some right, as in, is it that some people are more difficult to sculpt than I'm others? I'm not or? even sure. I'm not even sure what yeah, I'm is. thinking, I'm thinking like, you know, well, Beyonce should be pretty easy. Why? If, She's Beyonce. I mean, just get her. Uh, they got her in her typical performance attire, but the. the I don't know. I think say think no from me. You can say no. It's a terrible no. Michael Jackson, no. Justin Timberlake, no. Naomi Campbell, no. Miley Cyrus, definitely no. That's Sarah Palin, in my opinion. Yes. <laughs> Banang Matiba has made history. South African's Queen Bee is taking it to the bank. I choose love by being love. There's something about love that emancipates a woman, like she can do and conquer anything. That's the power of love. So while we're here trying to get over how Lover Boy rapper, AKA, forced out an astronomical 79,000 rand for Banang Matiba's 30th birthday, South Africa has to shut it down for this one. Um, sorry, no we are not talking about the Gert Johan Coetzee showstopper that night. Please rewind if you can, but Bonang has made history as the first South African celebrity to get her own set of emojis. The set is named the emojis as a combination of the word Bonang and emojis. The emoji move is part of a massive campaign that will include the release of a book, a reality TV show, and a dedicated mobile app. Give or take, these emojis are now viral, and yes, you guessed right, the new emoji set includes her rapper boyfriend, AKA. Bonang now follows in the footsteps of US stars Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Justin Bieber, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Lady Gaga in releasing the custom set of emojis. Reality star Kim Kardashian was probably the most successful, accumulating millions with her emojis. At one point during its launch in 2015, over 9,000 people were buying the $1.99 app every second. It's <laughs> 